Hi everybody and welcome to SA Rugby Magazine. I'm with Mark Johane and in light of what happened last night with uh, with Rassi being banned from rugby, I thought we should do a video and at least try and get uh, get our, view, air, our views aired. We talked, we joked about it yesterday, but we were happy. There's many, many, many a truth word said in jest. This this ban reeks of a premeditated uh, uh, conclusion. Always club. I mean, you go back to the World Cup bit. 2023 South Africa gets it when 17 of the 27 categories they've spent 18 months with an independent business consultant who yeah. recommends South Africa Bernard Laporte says how many weeks have I got two weeks yeah. they go and buy every vote Bill Beaumont's heading that up yeah. and France gets given it Bill Beaumont should have resigned then but, exactly. but, but let's 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 talk but, but now this is very similar to that kind yeah. of thing yeah. uh, it's like we do what we want and we'll do it how we want World Rugby has been so quiet for four months. Ever and since it's been the so badly run, Mark. I mean, it, like for, for years, it's been an old boys club. You know, Gus Pichot should have should have uh, should have been should have been the president. Without a doubt, you know, many months ago when the the elections came, uh, Gus, who had served as vice president, it was a breath of fresh air yeah. and really in touch with the dynamics of modern sport and modern sport and business and killing off that old boys club. And he was very upfront to say, "I've worked with them." I can't continue to work with them, so I'm not going to be vice president for another four years and toe the line. I'm going for president and I can change rugby and change it and take it into this new dispensation. They said, come for it. He got cleaned up. Yeah, he never stood a chance. He never stood a chance and Bill Beaumont was there and it was that old boys club reinforced the 57 again. old farts, as, will, as, as, will, as will Carling, Carling said. said years ago. And it's sad to see that nothing's changed. But let's, let's talk about South Africa because they talk about Arassi bringing the game into disrepute. The only person bringing the game of rugby into disrepute is Bill Beaumont. He should fucking resign. He should be ashamed of himself. And he should just pass the mantle on to a younger generation. Because it's sickening. It really is well, sickening to, to be ruining a game I love. Well, I mean, in a week like this, when we see what's happening in English cricket, with, with the, the racism, racism yeah. classism, rugby has just come and done exactly that. Yeah. And park Rassi just for a moment. Mm. The thing that I thought was the most outrageous is that Sia Khaleesi is fined and South African rugby is fined because he answered a question in a mm. press conference yeah. when he, they asked him, did he feel that he was disrespected and treated differently? He said, yes. You I can't did. help but feel that, that, that there's a lot of racism at play. And I hate to play the racism card, but I've never played one, so I'm playing one today. But. Completely. Racist world rugby. That is, that is what I've called them. Yeah. Their actions show it, that it's a white coach defending a black World Cup winning captain oh for being so poorly treated by a white Australian referee mm. who was patronizing, he was dismissive, it was just disgusting the way he treated Khaleesi in that first test. World Rugby has treated Nick Berry as if he's the victim. Yeah. Nick Berry's statement is, I, I, my, my career, he's, he's already officiated three test matches since then. Yeah. He's, and he's a victim like Jeffrey Epstein's a victim. Completely. You know, it's disgraceful. And, uh, and but that, that premeditated, that calculated, we said it on Monday, it's going to come either Friday, Thursday, and I always thought it was yeah. going to come Friday, 24 hours before yeah. and they're going to drop it, and it's going to be, take that. Bull Beaumont has his English roots, he was the English captain, British and Irish Lions captain, and it's so orchestrated. Three days before England play what is there, to them the biggest game since the World Cup against South Africa, he allows it at World Rugby. If he had had any class, any integrity, he would have said, we wait till this game is played, on Monday we address this, yeah. and let the processes then take take their course. Yeah. But to drop it in this week when there was absolute silence before Scotland, before Wales and during the rugby championship yeah. is outrageous. He's disgusting. It should have never gotten to this level. It should never have got, it, it, it should have been addressed in a very different yeah. way where they should have said to Rassi, we look at the message and we don't shoot the messenger. Yeah. How did a referee get 26 instances wrong in 35 minutes of play yeah. that had a, a, a negative influence and, and influenced the outcome of the game. I love how they say it was an independent. Two New Zealanders who are consultants <laughs> to <laughs> World yeah. Rugby, chaired by an Englishman who's a consultant to World Rugby. Yeah, yeah. So they, there's no such thing as independence no. there. And when an independent rules mm. something that they don't like, they just go back to the elected uh, officials who, who overrule that. So that goes back to my World Cup 2023. Yeah. Their independence came in and said South Africa gets the World Cup. Their elected officials said we'll give it to France. So at World Rugby, they talk about being anti-racist. They talk about integrity. They have no integrity. No, but um, they, they proved today. We've always known that Bill Beaumont is the wrong guy to be. It's a white, all boys club yeah. who are ingrained with prejudice and up, without a doubt, 
racist undertones when you look at how they treated Sia Khaleesi. I couldn't agree more, Mark. And if, if Bill Beaumont's watching, do the honourable thing and resign. You're useless. In an ideal world as well, the box should have been on a plane back home th this week and said to England, take the game, take play it. yourself, and we'll take the financial loss and move on. Yeah. Because, and that would have been uh, justice for Rassi. <laughs> but if the game will go ahead, unfortunately, and Eddie Jones must be thinking, oh my God, why now? Because if ever they needed to motivate a South African team. Well, uh, you know, it's, it, it'd still be a spectacle, but I mean, it's, it's marred in the shadow. And, you know, it's unfortunate that every once in a while, someone special comes along like Rassi um, that, that doesn't bow down to the status quo, that doesn't just, you know, I take it, bend over and take it. And, and I, I, I'm, I couldn't believe what I read last night, though I could believe it when I thought about it and the person that's responsible for world rugby. And I'm just, it's, 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 it's grotesque. And, and how emphatically they ruled everything against him. Yeah. And it's as if this game of, that's been around for over 100 years, this inner sanctum was exposed and that's what's been punished. Not that it's corrupt, that it's yeah. prejudiced, that yeah. it's awful inside. And how rotten to the core world rugby is, we've seen it in this week. And nothing could be more, uh, nothing could understate more the, 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 in, the incompetence of a Bill Beaumont than how the game of rugby has not grown. It hasn't expanded. It's got, it's got rules that's, that makes the game unrecognizable to most people that played it half a, a half a decade ago. And it'll keep continuing like this until a guy like he resigns and we get a new, a new broom that comes in and sweeps it clean and we can, we can, we can take the game forward. The, the, you know, rugby has to have a revolution yeah. because there will never be an evolution. And we thought it could potentially come with Peugeot. Uh, it really, something has to change radically because you can't keep on going like this. And there's got to be a nation that at one time stands up and says, we break away, yeah. we don't play. And maybe this, they, you know, this proposed World 12s mm. is the way to go. And they go and do a rebel league and they take all the players and they actually kill off what World Rugby stands for. Because Bill Bowman's leadership, he was never a great player for England or for the Lions. And he's a pretty awful leader of World Rugby. I couldn't agree more, Mark. Thanks, Sam. Pleasure. Thank you.